In this driver operation video, you'll learn how to operate Thermoking SB series trailer refrigeration units equipped with the SR2 microprocessor controller. A four cylinder diesel engine powers these units. Some units may have an optional electric standby motor, and if so equipped, may be operated using the electric motor and corresponding electrical power supply instead of the diesel engine. The Smart Reefer 2 microprocessor uses a Human Machine Interface, or HMI, control panel, consisting of an LCD display and eight touch-sensitive keys. Four dedicated keys are used to turn the unit on and off, initiate defrost, and select continuous run or cycle sentry operating modes. Four soft keys below the display perform a variety of different functions. A Cargo Watch PC connection port and service watch data retrieval port are located above the HMI. Additional non-serviceable components are located inside the control box. In order to successfully start the unit on diesel or electric standby, the controller's on-off switch must be turned on. The switch is also accessible from the front of the unit. To start the unit, press the ON key. The display briefly shows the following screens. Thermoking logo, configuring system, programming language, Standard display screen showing box temperature and set point. The unit will then automatically preheat and start. Once started, the display shows box temperature and set point temperature. During engine operation, after approximately two minutes, it may change to high speed. To operate the unit on electric, Plug the unit power cord into the correct power supply, then press the ON key. If the unit was previously operating on engine, you will be asked if you wish to switch to electric operation. To do so, press YES. Once reprogrammed, the controller continues the start sequence. And if unit operation is necessary, the electric standby motor will start. To return to engine operation, simply reverse the procedure. To stop the unit, press the OFF key. The SR2 can display multiple languages. If more than one language has been activated, an additional screen will appear during the startup sequence. Press yes or no to accept or reject the displayed language. If no is selected, the active language will reappear. Use the plus or minus keys to scroll to another language. Press yes or no to accept or reject this language. Repeat this procedure until the desired language appears. If the desired language does not appear, it either has not been activated or it is not available. If the yes or no keys are not pressed, the controller will revert to the previously programmed language and start the unit. Once started, you'll be prompted again to make a language selection. For ease of viewing during normal operation, a temperature watch screen will appear if no keys are pressed for approximately two and a half minutes. To return to the standard display, press the menu key. To change set point temperature, press the set point key. Press the plus or minus keys until the desired temperature appears. Then press yes. Programming new set point and new set point is will appear, verifying the change was made. The standard display returns showing the new set point. SR2 units can be operated as continuous run or cycle sentry start stop units. When continuous run is selected, the engine runs continuously in high or low speed to maintain cargo temperature. If cycle sentry is selected, the engine will automatically start and stop 
to maintain cargo temperature. Before selecting cycle sentry, determine if the cargo you're carrying is safe for cycle sentry operation. Some cargoes are not. Ask your employer or refer to the unit operator's manual for a listing of cycle sentry approved cargoes. If in doubt, use continuous run. To change the setting, press the cycle sentry key. To change it back, press the cycle sentry key again. Cycle sentry can also be changed from within the mode menu if so desired. The mode menu also contains a keypad lockout feature and a sleep mode function, which we'll discuss in more detail later. Press exit to return to the main menu. Press exit again to return to the standard display. Defrost initiates automatically as required. However, it can also be initiated manually. To do so, press the defrost key. If defrost is available, the unit will go into the defrost mode. If defrost not available appears, the unit does not need defrosting. During defrost, a progress bar indicates the approximate percentage of completion. Defrost terminates automatically. It can also be terminated by turning the unit off. If this is done, however, defrost may not have totally completed. Also, if terminated manually, be sure to restart the unit. If you don't, cargo temperature will not be maintained, and cargo damage may result. To access the main menu, press the menu key. Press Next repeatedly to scroll through the following main menu screens. Alarms, Data Logger, Hour Meters, Mode, Pre-Trip, Adjust Brightness, and Time. Use the back key to scroll back. Or press Exit to return to the standard display. To view various unit gauge readings, press the Gauges key. Then press the Next key to scroll through the following readings. Engine Coolant Temperature, Engine Coolant Level, Engine Oil Pressure, Amps, Battery Voltage, Engine RPM, Refrigeration System Discharge Pressure, Refrigeration System Suction Pressure, electronic throttling valve position, and I.O., or input-output. If no keys are pressed for approximately 30 seconds, the standard display will return. To view the unit's sensor readings, press the sensor's key. Press Next to scroll through the following sensor readings. If dashes appear, it means the sensor is not being used. Control return air temperature, display return air temperature, Control Discharge Air Temperature, Display Discharge Air Temperature, Temperature Differential, Evaporator Coil Temperature, Ambient Air Temperature, Spare One Sensor Temperature. Remember, dashes mean the sensor is not being used. It does not mean there's a problem. Data Logger Sensor 1 through 6 Temperatures, Board Temperature Sensor. Repeatedly pressing the back key scrolls back through the menu. Press Exit to return to the standard display. 